Well, of course, that, the, the big idea here, the big concept again, is that whole idea of resiliency. You know, and, and so how do you get kids to understand that and, and make meaning from that? Our, our first indicator talks about the impact of two cultures coming together and one culture having different values than another culture. And, you know, how does that give and take and share? And, and that whole idea of the Native American people becoming resilient in that, you know, they, they took some of those values as well. And vice versa, you know, it's back and forth. And so that was kind of one of the ideas for this essential understanding too is that whole idea of resiliency and about tribal people and values. And what are those values, you know? And, and for little kids, it's, it's kind of easy for them because we can read the little books to them, and especially the Paul Goble books, you know, and, and they have the values with those. And, and then I, you know, just kind of pointed it out to them. You know, this is a value that your ancestors might have had. And what would that look like today? And so they're drawing that history to, you know, the present day as well. And so this, this first indicator talks about analyzing those values and the beliefs of the Ochede Shakui. I think perseverance, you know, I think that value of perseverance is something that our children need to talk about and internalize because it's, you know, it, it wasn't easy living back in the day, you know, when you're, you know, you might not see a buffalo for a long time and, and you're hungry and, and, and then, you know, it's cold and, you know, all of those things that happened back a long time ago. So, you know, there are stories about how the Lakota people persevered through that and I think perseverance today means something entirely different for our kids, but it's still a value. And for our children on a reservation, you know, to persevere in um, everything that poverty brings, the challenges in living in poverty and, and at risk, you know, our children being at risk for, oh, drugs, and, you know, all of that that they've got to have that value as well. And to say, you know, not to blame anybody, but say, I'm gonna persevere, you know, I'm gonna get through this. So I think that's important. Uh, of course, all the other values are important as well. Um, generosity, um, kinship, and Ella Deloria, you know, said in her book, Water Lily, that to be a good Dakota person, you must be a good relative. And so I think our children need to realize how important that value is, even though we don't think about, you know, being a good relative as a value, but it is, you know, it's very important. Generosity is important. You ask for one, but I just going on and on. Good. I'm good, you could edit these. <laughs> Saying, oh, she talks too much. <laughs> um, the second part of that uh, talks about the relationship between spiritual, physical, and social, and emotional health. And in that, we thought that uh, we can bring in the spiritual portion of it. That spirituality for our people was different than what's we tend to think about spirituality now. And so if we're teaching our children about um, the interrelationship of, the stewardship of, being a good relative, that's all part of that spirituality. That's part of taking care, realizing that everything has this like a spirit. And, and so it's like taking care of that spirit. And 
back and forth of that spirit. And, and that it was necessary that we had to have a balance between all of those things, you know, for us to grow and, and to be good, good people. So that was one of the things that we had talked about that we thought was important. Uh, 